Welcome to episode 387, Lindsay Fox, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 387, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 387, lesson 6 to lesson 10. Lesson number 1, how to start a business with lying, hustle, and charm. At age 16, he lied about his age to get a trucker's license. Instead of saving money to buy a used truck, he hustled and charmed and bought his first truck for 400 pounds with four promissory and notes. I convinced a second-hand truck wrecker to sell me a truck on four quarterly 100 pound promissory notes. He, looked the, he liked the color of my eyes and was prepared to allow me to write out four IOUs for 100 pound apiece. The man is still alive today in his 90s and he said, I wish you never paid me back and we had an investment in your company instead of you repaying the loan. Lesson number two, the world is competitive. He almost made the Australian ice hockey Olympic team. He played three years professional Australian football at St Kilda. Where they took their time out, worked hard to help create a future for you in the world of, I, I guess you can call it competitiveness. Lesson number three, people and team. What is the secret to how you went from small to this enormous operation we see today? People. People, personal relationships, no different to uh, any form of life. I worked with employing people that I either went to school with or played football with in those formative years. and. Uh, that, that fundamentally was where we started. We had what was called the till principle. T is for trust. If you half trust them, you don't trust them. I is for integrity. If they haven't got integrity, it's your own fault. And give me somebody with 100% loyalty and 85% ability before I would have taken the opposite position. Your Lesson number four, smart father, smart son. When his son Peter Fox was 30 years old, he took over as chairman of Lynn, Lynn Fox. The year was 1993. Years ago when the founder Lindsay handed you the baton of leadership um, position. It was you know, quite a significant personal turning point for me when you take on responsibility the magnitude that, uh, that I did when I was 30 years of age. I could never have done the job without a great management team in place. Lesson number five, where the opportunities lie. Here in Thailand, I can remember when Thai people were paid a dollar US a day. Southeast Asia and Malaysia and Thailand were the first two countries. Today we now work in 10 countries in this region and include India. Now when we talk of those economies, we are currently talking about 50% of the world's population. 3.4 billion people. Lesson number six, vertical integration. Over $200 million worth of goods move in and out of New Zealand. A lot of it is handled by reliable and flexible warehousing and distribution companies like Limfox. The operation involves three aspects, warehousing, the storage and sorting of product, customer services, liaising with customers, and distribution, the transport of products to customers. Lesson number seven, less is more. And the business has got quite a significant footprint today in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Hong Kong, Singapore, India. We have a real keen interest at the moment in the place called the Mekong Delta. There's more people working for us today in Asia than there is in Australia. When we decide to do something, we can move really quickly. We had 300 customers in 2008. Today we have about 80. Uh, and for us, it's a real game of less is more. It's a game of quality, not quantity. W Lesson number eight, cash flow is blood for business. One of the most important things too in business is the word cash flow. Cash flow stops in a business. The business dies. Never forget that. When I first started, the customers I had, I never had any money. So I negotiated that I would pay companies like BP 
British Petroleum and Dunlop, two of the major suppliers that I had, that I would pay them every 90 days. The real catch was I expected them to pay me every seven. But that gave me cash flow. And without that cash flow, maybe I'd still be driving a truck today. Listen, number nine, you can buy network. You cannot buy friendship. Yeah, listening to your story, you're very well connected. How important was the network in your business success? Well, I, I think network uh, is plastic, synthetic and bullshit. Yeah. Networking you can buy. Friendship you have to earn and it's not for sale. I still see, recently Frank Bragg, that was the guy that signed my first contract, with BP in 1963. Lesson number 10, safety first. The safety side though is, is one of the major differentials that we need to apply when you're coming to us than announcing that somebody has died. One of the other things that we did with zero tolerance, we implemented the first standards of drug and alcohol testing. Thank you for watching. If a high school dropout can, so can you. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.